Today we are gonna be. Who is this guy? Do you want infinite power? Do, do, do. Yeah, no thanks. Well, you don't have a choice. What does he mean? Oh, oh no! I've been sent flying. I'm good now. All right, then I guess I don't have a choice but to become a cyborg and fully awaken it to V4 and unlock all of its powers. But to start, we got to defeat a ton of sea beasts to try and get a fist of darkness. Because according to the wiki, I need to obtain a fist of darkness in order to get something called a core brain. And luckily for me, in a previous video, I fully awakened magma, which is the ultimate sea beast hunting devil fruit. So we're going to be running around and searching for sea beasts to fight. I have found my first sea beast. And if he doesn't give me this item that I need, I'm going to be furious. Uh... Please just give me the item. Great magma hound. Did I even hit him? Oh, I did. This magma fruit is literally the ultimate fruit for taking these things down. One more magma shower. You're done. Okay, did I get the item? Nope, I got absolutely nothing. I guess we continue the hunt for sea beasts. Sea beast number two. Maybe I can kill this one a bit faster. How much health does this thing have? Yo, get your ugly face over here. 77,000? Oh, actually, I'm kind of going crazy with the damage. Where'd it go? Oh, oh, there it is. Ooh. I got absolutely nothing again. This is painful. I could be going for this Fist of Darkness for hours. So this seems to be one of like, the hardest things about getting Cyborg. I've just got to sit and wait for a Sea Beast to spawn. And wait, you can man the cannons on this ship? Oh, the Sea Beast is done. If I sit on this cannon here, I'm ready for when it spawns. I'm going to hit it with cannon fire as soon as I see it. <laughs> Sea Beast, I got you with my cannon fire. Bang. Oh, he disappeared. He's back. Oh, he is done. Wait, can I even... Da I can't even damage him with the cannon. No. And I got absolutely nothing again. Oh, no. My ship's on the ropes now. This is not looking good. <gasps> you have found a strange item. I got a top hat. No way. Oh, it's so cool. Look at me. Oh, wait. I got the Fist of Darkness as well. Let's go. Now I got to be super careful and make sure I don't fall into the ocean. Or it could actually be game over. <laughs> get to land. Just gotta get to land. Nice and safe. Okay, I'm in the chamber area, whatever this is. And then we click this. Your fist of darkness has been processed. Please supply a core brain to continue. What do I do now? What's a core brain? Oh, I see. Core brain can be obtained by a drop from order. So we're gonna have to do the law raid. And to do a law raid, we've just gotta grab one of these. A microchip only costs, you know, a small price of 1,000 fragments every single time. Oh, you know, nice and cheap. And now with this microchip, we can begin the order raid. Probably gonna be a bit too difficult on my own. Well, now that I've got the microchip and more importantly, my top hat, we can begin the raid and we're in. Okay, order. You're going down. I just got to make sure I get enough damage because there is a lot of people in here. But the main problem is, is that apparently the core brain is only like a 5% drop or something crazy like that. So this could take ages. I have no idea how he's doing it, but I think order's room is literally causing the server to lag. So if this crashes after I've spent so long searching for the fist of darkness, I'm not going to be happy. I'm gonna have to do this all again. Where is he? He keeps teleporting around. Okay, I got him. Oh. <gasps> First try. What? No way. Wait, what does it look like? Oh, it's a microchip. 225D. I have no idea what that means, but now what do I do with this? Who do I give this to to become a cyborg? Huh? What is your luck? What do you mean? It's just a brain. Now I've got to be extra careful to make sure I don't lose this core brain or else many hours of work will be down the drain. But with this little thing, this cute little microchip, I think I come over here and I go, I press this. Your core brain has been processed. He said downstairs. Oh no. Oh, what is this? Miss, click to interact. Would you like to change your race to Cyborg for 2,500 fragments? This race is specialized in defense and energy. Yes, please. Oh, I don't have enough money. This went from being an epic moment to a really sad moment real quick. And with the power of my mom's credit card, I think, <laughs> I think I can get... Yes, I can buy the Cyborg race. Look at me. I've got like an eye patch now. This allows me to see in 4K. My vision has improved. Wow, it's like... um, <laughs> It's the exact same feeling as when Logan Paul saw color for the first time. Just in Roblox. But now I need to work on getting version 2 of the Cyborg. Cyborg race. And once again, we're playing Where's Wally, except flower edition. We need to find three flowers. And because it's nighttime, we can start with the blue flower. We're running out of time. It's about to be daytime. I need a blue flower. Oh, chest. Do you have the blue flower? Nope. Just $3,000. What about in here? Any flowers? Wait, what? There's a secret entrance. With a patch of grass with a flower. Oh my god. We just got so lucky in finding that. So that's one out of the three flowers already found. Who would have thought all of this came from like a single core memory thing? And then now, hold on. There we go. And then now we've got a flower. Now we can begin working on the yellow flower. And the way that we get that is by defeating as many mobs as possible. And listen, I was promised infinite power at the start of this video. So like this cyborg awakening, it better give me infinite power. Like I know it gives me those cool blue wings. 
Oh, second try. Easy peasy. Look, it's the same color as your hacky. You love to see it. All that we need to do now is wait until daytime and then we can find the final flower. It's just like a tinier version of this one here. Oh, never mind. Wait, it's in the exact same place as when I did my ghoul video. There's all three flowers obtained. We've got the red one now. So all that we need to do is we need to head back to the alchemist and now you can evolve my race, right? It's expensive though. Yep, 500k. I'm a cyborg V2 now. What's changed? Has my eye patch gotten bigger? I think literally nothing has changed. Maybe I just have more energy or something. The next step before we get V4 is we need V3. And the way that we do that is we head into the secret den underneath the tree. I've made it. We've got the spooky mood lighting as well. This is perfect. It's time for me to awaken again. What does he want me to do this time? Last time I had to PvP five people. Talk to me again once you have a fruit in your inventory. I do though. Wait, does it just mean like any fruit? So could I give him... <laughs> Here you go, Rip Indra. Take a kilo fruit. You know, the best fruit in the entire game. Well done. No way. Now I just paid two million. I've done it. New title unlocked the cyborg. Ooh, look at my mask now. I can literally only see like barely anything now. It's like I've had blinds closed on my eyeballs or something with this one. I've got like, I've got about two centimeters of space to see and about two centimeters of space to smell as well. But now I've got a brand new race ability called energy core. I can electrocute people. Yeah, don't get close to me. I'm like a taser. I'm a walking taser gun now. And what that taser does is it boosts the defense of players by 30% and gives me a lightning effect. So now we've got to head back to the third sea and awaken our race. I've just thought of something. Since I'm a cyborg, you know, literally made out of circuits and wires, if I fall into the water, do I insta die? There's only one way to find out. Nope, it just takes a long time as well, like normal. That's a feature Blocks Roots needs to add because that would be so funny. What's the moon looking like? Oh, that is a full moon. I want to awaken right here, right now. I don't have time. Use the lever and open the door. Open sesame. Aha. And right, now, which way is cyborg? Is this looking? Nope, that's like definitely fishman race. Oh, this is looking cyborgy. Perfect. It's trial time. Oh, no. I have the portal fruit on. Survive until the end. Watch out for bombs. Oh, wait, this could be amazing. <gasps> oh, my God. I didn't see that one. Okay, gotta be super zoomed out. We gotta dodge every single... Oh, no. Oh, it's pretty slow on this level. That's not too bad. I can deal with this. What if I turn on my race skill? Can I, like, explode them? No. And I can't use any skills either. So it's purely just a dodging mini game. I've got to avoid the explosives coming from the ceiling. All right. This is going pretty well. Oh, I've done it. You've completed your trial. Nice. Oh my god, that was close. There was only two seconds left. There can only be one. And I've only got a portal through, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this. Get over here. Hey. I've won. So now I just got to follow this orb. Okay, any moment now, orb. There we go. And this should take us to the clock. And then we can awaken, right? It's time. This is what I was promised at the start of this video. This right here is unlimited power. New title unlocked, Genesis. Yeah, we've got one gear in the clock now. And I've got the wings. Oh, we've got blue visor now. Oh, this is actually really cool. Can I fly? No, I cannot fly. Can I jump higher? <laughs> Hello, Ancient One. I talk to you now, right? Yep, come back when you've trained more. So now we need to go on a training arc, like always. There are so many training arcs you actually have to do to awaken every single race. It's just becoming the same thing over and over, but this time we've got cool wings. Here we go. Our screen's purple. Awaken! Oh, I start glowing purple. I look so good. And then if I do this, like it, does that boost my damage even more? Oh, this is sick. The purple is so cool. I'm like an RGB neon light in a gamer's bedroom. This is crazy. <laughs> this race V4 is literally just a gaming keyboard. This is awakening number two. Maybe I could get another trial done before the full moon ends. And there is my third time awakening. So I think now I should be good to get this to stage two because we're currently on stage one. So if I come in here, where is the ancient one again? Is he through here? Aha, here is the red orb. If I come back when I've trained more, I need to do more training, maybe one more awakening and then I'm good. And with my RGB lights on again, I think this should be good enough. I think this should be the final awakening I need. I hope it's the final awakening I need. Okay, ancient one, I am back. Please don't tell me to go train. Yep, I've been working hard and he will sell me the upgrade for 1000 fragments. So now I'm ready for the next trial. Let's do this. I just need to find the cyborg area. <laughs> it's the one with all the cogs. Yeah, it's over here. And the chains. There we go. <laughs> I got so lost. Open sesame. Trial signing five. So I think with this trial, is it going to spawn more and more missiles? I mean, it seems to be... Oh. Oh, the blast radius is so much larger this time. Oh, uh, okay. This could be problematic. Oh, no. I got to make sure I don't dodge into any of them as well. I think this is one of the trials that's like deceivingly easy. So like when you least expect it, you're going to get... Like, look at how many is sending off this time compared to the first time. It looks straight down, though. Aha, I found the strategy. You'll never get hit if you stand like this. Surgical precision. Boom, all trials completed. But like always, there can only be one. And that one's gonna be me. You guys are done. Get over here. 
Oh no. <laughs> Everybody's fighting. You're the last one. Yes. Okay, this should give me a brand new ability for my awakening. I have no idea what it's going to be. Like a flashbang <laughs> because I'm glowing. Hello, clock. It's an ancient clock as well. Awaken. Abilities open. Click to socket a new gear. What are we choosing? Aftershock. Attacks now apply an electrifying effect. Or we can get energy control. Damage dealt now chains to nearby enemies through orbs. Allows the user to super jump. Oh, I need that. That sounds so cool. I want to jump high. So it said that one my attacks chain. So if I click. Oh, yeah. Oh, that seems actually pretty OP. What about my super jump? How do I do that? Eh, that was not a super jump. What about this? Oh. Oh, that is so cool. Can I do like a plonk? Oh, I went flying. Oh, if you like dash into... Oh, no, I, I missed. I nearly went off the tree. I'm going to need to be in Awakening for five more minutes to be able to get the next stage. And that stage costs 1,500 fragments. And I've only got 200 fragments. So we're going to have to do some raids. But luckily for me, I've got Doe fully awakened. So I can just easily... Oh, I don't even have hacky. Now I can easily take down all these enemies. Ow, ow, never mind, maybe not. And there we go, we've earned a thousand fragments from the first raid. I'm probably gonna need to do about five or six more if I wanna get all the way to stage four. So if I combine awakening with like attacking at these mobs, I should be able to just do like tons of chain reactions because of the gear that I chose, right? I got a Tassus. Where are the mobs? Aha, there's one here. I can't really tell because I don't know if I'm even hitting any of them. Oh yeah, that definitely chain reaction right there. You could get some insane combos with this race. That's crazy. Like my damage is just amplifying itself over and over. And you can't even tell that I've got purple wings either in this form. Yup, as long as I hit them, my damage transfers. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. That's raid number two, number three, number four, and that's raid number five. I think that should be enough to get every single other stage that I need. While doing those raids, I thought of the best possible fruit I could pair with Cyborg to make sure I get as much multi-hit damage as possible, and that's the Blizzard fruit. Because Blizzard has the craziest AoEs, so surely if I can chain light and hit everywhere all at once. It'll just be too OP. I'll be creating like a thunderstorm blizzard attack. It's gonna be crazy. And now that I've got enough fragments, I can just sit in awaken mode now until there's a full moon and then I'll be ready to take on the next trial. It is so close to being full moon. Have I done enough training? You've come a long way. As promised, yes, he'll upgrade it. Yes. Now what? You're ready for the next trial. So with this, I'll be able to get the third wheel in the clock, which means after that point, only one more to go or two. I can't remember. I'm losing count. All that I know is I've got cool RGB lights that can hurt everything everybody around me when I use Blizzard Domain. Okay, while this race might not be like as devious as ghoul and human, I could just activate instinct and go, yeet. <laughs> I can just set myself flying. It's so much fun. Boing. Oh, I overshot. <gasps> full moon, full moon. Perfect timing. Let's go in, boys. It's full moon time. We got to get to our stations. I always get so lost. Which, is this one cyborg? Oh, it is. Yeah, the silly looking cyborg face with the visor. Door open. All right, this is my third trial. So this one should be a lot harder than previous trials I've had to do. Oh, yeah, they're coming down way faster now. And look at the blast rages. If I'm not paying attention, I could very much just get caught out here. They're chasing me. Wait, I'm being cornered. Gotta play this perfectly safe. Energy core. I wish you could just like zap them out of the sky and stop them from hitting you. <gasps> if I didn't dash there, that would have got me. Oh no. Careful. Be very, very careful. Five seconds left. I can do this. I think it stops at 15, right? Stop. Stop. Oh, those coming towards me. All trials have been completed. Okay, it's time for me to awaken this. Snowflake shuriken. Boom. See, look, I just one-shot that guy and he was max level. That was crazy, right? Totally legit kill. <laughs> but now that we can see the light, we can head to the top of these stairs and we can lock our next ability. Hello, clock. I have arrived. Teach me the ways. Any moment now. There we go. Okay, this gear, we're gonna, we can get aftershock, which applies an electrifying effect. Or we can get energy control. Super jump now deals damage. Oh, I want to be able to jump really tall. I don't need electric after effects or anything like that at the moment. I want to jump high. I cannot wait to test out this new jump. So I can just go like... I can just boing now. That's so cool. If I'm not careful, I'll just like fly off the tree. Oh, like this. Eh. Recovered. Wasn't even close. And it says it does damage now, right? So if I go here and go boom, 1,200 damage. It's pretty cool. That's training number one of three complete, costing 2,000 fragments. It's starting to get real expensive with fragments now. I might not have enough. It's going to be close. I'm like Mario. But build different. I, I, I keep overshooting it. What? Mario wishes he could jump this high. <laughs> oh! I nearly fell off. Like, I'm just stomping on a Goomba right now. This is how I'm keeping my meter all the way filled up in the bottom left. Just keep on stomping on the Goomba. I have been on this main character training arc for way too long. And to add insult to injury, this next upgrade is 2.2 thousand fragments. <sighs> 
But that's two out of three complete. So I only need to do one more. But the worst part about this is the third upgrade is going to take around 10 minutes of awakening usage. I have been an RGB keyboard for about 30 minutes now. Yep, I'm ready for my final upgrade. Which means now I'm ready for the final trial that I need to do. Then I can become the final form of the cyborg. In other words, I'll just be able to make people that I hit get electric effects on them. So that's going to be pretty epic. I'm hyped. It's full moon time. No, I want to become the ultimate android. Let me in. We've actually been griefed. Okay, now we can go in. I got knocked away now. Please. I just want to awaken my race, please. It's time for the robots to strike back. Humanity doesn't stand a chance. Cyborg V4 is literally what would happen if mobile phones turned against us. Here it is. The final trial. So this one is going to be the hardest one as well. These rockets are going to be falling down with a vengeance. What? The zones are massive now. But if I get cornered, I'm done. But this is still easy mode for me. I've got Observation Hockey V10. Okay, wait, this is a bit extreme. <laughs> Why are rockets falling so slowly? Such an extreme trial. Okay, I'm dodging and weaving. Oh, oh, you thought you could trap me. I'm too quick. They can never trap. <gasps> yes, I did it. Let's go. Wait, there's only seven seconds left. Oh, no. no Are we going to have to do that again? Oh, one second left. That was a bit too risky. But here it is. I'm becoming the ultimate AI. Bonk. They're trying to waste my time. They're trying to make it so the full moon will end before I've done the trial. I'm awakening right now. You're done. You can't even trap me with your barrier. Bang. Goodbye. I finished him with the shuriken move as well. I'm too OP. Here it is. This is the final time we have to go to the clock. Ancient clock. Interact. Show me the goods, please. I've spent hours on this. Literal hours. Select a new gear socket. After shock tier one, I apply an electrifying effect. So I'm literally a stun gun with wings. Let's see what this new stun effect looks like. Bonk. Where's my stun effect? I'm not seeing no stun effect. I'm faulty. I'm like a used faulty mobile phone. This is terrible. Oh, well, at least I can jump high. 